Don't put that away. Don't put that away. Don't put it away. Remember when you said, when you go into the conscious community, you expect to see brothers walking with books sometimes, like it used to be in the day. Right. That's one thing I can say about this black man right here, Brother Natu Tahoti. When you see him, most of the times you see him carrying books. His brother is always on the research study. And what you reading today, black man? Uh, very important. Um, this is called The Sibyls, the first prophetess of Mami Wata. The Sibyls, that's what you were talking and, about. Yeah, this is something that I wanted to bring out that we are not given enough credit to African scholarship. Mm -hmm. One of the very first African scholars who brought us African scholarship in 1924 was a black woman by the name of Drusilla Dungey Houston. Mm -hmm. Now we big up Dr. Ben and I love Dr. Ben, Dr. Right. Clark and all of them. Right. But why haven't we put Drusilla Dungey Houston in the same light as we done Dr. Ben? Not only that, we have this brave black woman that's on the scene today that is doing a work that nobody else is doing. She has recovered the story of our ancient mothers. African women, our African women come from ancient mothers who were not born under the yoke of patriarchy. For the during ancient times, for the first 6,000 years, uh, these women were great power in the world. They came from a very powerful matriarch. And this story is not being told. We don't even know about it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So I want to induct this black woman into the Black History Hall of Fame. Uh, Her name is Mama Zogby. Mama and Zogby. she is on the same level as a Dr. Ben. You understand what I'm Why saying? Mama Zogby? Mama Zogby because she not only has recovered the scholarship of our ancient mothers, but she has also went to Africa and she has reconnected with the bloodline. But the thing is, um, and I want to say this, and I don't mean, I don't you, say this, yeah, I don't ahead. say this to be mean to the comedic community, but ancient Egypt won't save you. You can call on the gods of ancient Egypt uh -oh. and they won't hear you. Hey, hey, you hear that? You heard what he said? I'm going to tell you why. That's, go ahead. I'm going to tell you why. You have to reconnect oh, back to the bloodline of those mothers and fathers that reached the shores of North America via the slave ships and those that were already here. Because we didn't all come on slave boats. That's right. Some of us were already here and some of us came across those seas through those slave ships. Now, the spirits of Africa, those spirits of Africa, we came, our ancestors came out of West Africa. Now, it may have occurred maybe many thousands of years ago that East Africans, Northeast Africans had migrated into the inner cores of Africa and colonized West Africa. But the fact of the matter is, most of us that are here in the diaspora of North America, our ancestors came from West Africa. We have to reconnect with the West Africans, those mothers and fathers that came here. Because many of them that came here were some of the same women that I'm talking about called the Sibyls. Go look up the word Sibyl. The word Sibyl means a prophetess. These women were magical. They were so magical that the ancient world hated them. They hated them so much they destroyed their ancient temples. And Christianity, Judaism, and Islam wrestled for the sacerdotal scriptures and power that these women had. These women were healing the sick. These women were healing the blind, healing the lame. They were even so-called raising the dead. When I say raising the dead, what I mean is that they were communicating with the spirits of the ancestors in the spirit form. These women were magical women and we must reconnect with them. So this is why I give Mama Zogby a lot of props because not only is she a scholar, she is a high priestess of the Vudan religion. Vudan is over 10,000 years old. It is the oldest religion on the planet. Matter of fact, it is what was gave birth. About that? It is what gave birth to the ancient Kemites. So we gotta go back and look at those Kushites, see what they study, and understand that in the inner cores of Africa, Western Africa, 
those mothers that came over here on the slave ship and those that jumped overboard. They jumped overboard rather than being in the yoke of patriarchy, being in the yoke of slavery. They jumped overboard. And some of our ancient mothers actually fought with this European so that her sons and daughters would not be taken into slavery.